Okay. My name is Renee Galinsky, and I'm an independent Norwex consultant. And I want to thank Shelly for having us tonight to do a party here. And thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us. And since this is a party, we're going to start off by playing a game. And the game consists of using one of our spearinets. How many of you have ever used like an SOS pad type mm -hmm. thing? And after you use it, you sit on the sink and then you end up with a rusty spot. Mm -hmm. Well, this does the same thing that any of those type of products would do, but it won't rust. I had one beside my sink for two years before I let my husband take it outside to use on the grill. <laughs> it, um, and it really does. It, it'll kind of come apart a little bit as you use it and you just squish it back together after you're finished. You can throw it in the dishwasher and let it go run through the dishwasher if you want to. And, and then reuse it. A lot of times I just leave it beside my sink and I just scrub off my pans. It will scratch though, so be careful on what you use it on. I do use this on my pots and pans. Um, and it, it doesn't scratch them like, if you have a non-scratch, you wouldn't want to use it on tail line or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, so a non-stick. Exactly. You would not use this on non-stick. So anyway, this is our game piece. And since Shelly's our hostess, I'm going to let her start. Now as I read through, this is called the left-right game. And so I'm just going to read through this, and as I read through it, you're going to learn a little bit about Norwex, a little bit about what I do, and just have fun. So every time I say the word right, you're going to pass it to your right. When I say left, you'll pass it to your left. Okay? So and you'll have to reach across the table or just throw it over. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Okay. We're going to start. Um, let's see. I left my house and was on the way to Shelly's tonight. I knew I was headed in the right direction for fun tonight. I arrived right on time and set my display right over here. You all arrived and sat right down. I'm going to get right to work and tell you all about our wonderful company, Norwex, our hostess program and income opportunity. I hope nothing is left out. <laughs> if you left home with the intention of shopping for gifts tonight, remember we have the right gift for everyone. Review your shopping list for upcoming birthdays, baby showers, weddings, or any kind of anniversary. We wouldn't want anyone to be left out. Norwex has a 60-day money-back guarantee on all of our products. When your merchandise comes in, please check it right away. And if something is not right, please call me and I'll be sure to take care of it and make it right. I don't want you to be left with something that you're not 100% satisfied with, right? If you'd like to be a hostess and learn lots of free merchandise, which I can't wait to tell you what she's going to get, <laughs> you will want to get right to picking out uh, your date before my calendar gets too full. You see, when you host a Norwex presentation, you can easily earn over $200 in free products. That's right, free <laughs> products. No buying half price, just ordering what you want, plus all of the free hostess specials. Or maybe it's the right time for you to explore joining Norwex as a consultant. I'm a stay-at-home mom. This is where I get it personal. <laughs> I homeschool. I'm at home a lot. And before I joined Norwex, I almost went right out of my mind. <laughs> Promoting the Norwex product line was the right decision for me. Honestly, this is the easiest job I've ever had in my entire life. It's fun. It sells itself. I just tell about it. So that's a little plus. <laughs> it costs nothing to get started in Norwex. Um, the kit is free. You just earn it by um, having parties, which you're going to do anyway to earn your money. So what do you have to lose, right? <laughs> I'm enjoying being here with all of you tonight, and I hope you're having fun too. I know you can't wait to see more, so without further delay, I will get right to the point of this demonstration, which is showing you our fabulous products. Therefore, there is nothing left for me to do now, except to congratulate our winner, right? <laughs> <laughs> and that really is what it says. <laughs> I've been accused of adding that in, but it really is what it says. But congratulations, you'll enjoy that, and honestly, it really will last you a long time. They come in a pack of two, and they're very inexpensive, especially for the amount of time that they last. Um, this is a great um, little extra gift to throw in for a wedding or an anniversary gift or something like that if you're looking for any kind of gifts. So that's a wonderful product. Now, before the night is over, we're going to have a drawing. 
for an, what I call a miniature <laughs> Norwex cloth, which I'm going to show you all about in just a moment. But these come in a pack of four, and this is the last one I have in my pack because I've been giving one away at every party. We will have a drawing at the end of the night. That's what the tickets are for. So just put your first name on them and toss them in the bowl all during the night. If you ask me a question, remind me to give you a ticket. So that way it goes into the bowl for the drawing. Now, um, these are called the travel pack. They come four in a pack. These are awesome. When we went to Disney World, I took one of these every day in my fanny pack. Yes, I carry a fanny pack when I go to Disney. <laughs> but I put one in a plastic baggie, kept it in there, and instead of running to the bathroom and telling me I need to wash your hands off, I pulled it out and let the kids wipe their hands on this. I use this instead of any of the hand sanitizer stuff. This is much better for your skin, and it really cleans your skin. And when I wet the, the um, larger one, then you'll understand that more um, after we... We probably should have done that before we started eating. <laughs> so but anyway, that's the gift tonight. Pardon? So it's the anti-back? It is. This one is exactly like the larger one. It's just smaller in size. So, she without further delay, yes, you did. <laughs> Thank you. See, now I'll forget, so you have to remind me to give you a ticket. You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to start off by showing you two of our basic cloths. First is um, the Norwex Enviro cloth. These come in four different colors. This one um, is the one that Shelly will receive tonight for having five orders. That's all it takes to get this free. It doesn't matter how large the order is, it's just five orders. So, um, in the win window cloth, the pink window cloth, the only way you can get the pink one is by having someone book a party from your party. So, if anyone else schedules to get all this free stuff, then you'll get one of these for every person who does. So, this is an awesome product, and I know you have one, so you know, you know about that. I'm going to show you how absorbent this cloth is. This cloth in itself has saved my family tons of money. I have bought a lot less. I was just telling Shelly that I have been doing this for a little over a year now, so now I really see the results of how much money I've saved. I don't buy half the paper towels I used to buy. Now, I do still use paper towels. They stay beside my sink, but the roll doesn't go down near as quick as it used to. And I never use it to clean with. I never use paper towels anymore to clean with. So, that has saved me a lot of money, just that in itself. Plus, I'm not buying any product to clean with. I only use the cloth. So this is about a cup of water and I'll show you. Let it go in there and kind of wick it up. I might have to push it down in there to get it to absorb it. And there might still be some dry spots on the cloth because sometimes it'll hold more than a cup. That's according to how much, how full I get it when it's still dry at the top. But as you can see, wow. it holds, well, it's going to drip a little bit. Sorry about that. I probably had a little bit more than a cup of water in there. <laughs> but anyway, let's see. So anyway, it holds about a cup of water in this cloth, which is really good. Now, that's the absorbency. And then when you wring this out, you'll be able to use this to clean. Now, the difference between this cloth and any other microfiber that you can buy in a store is the quality of this. The microfiber that you buy in a store is usually one sixth to one tenth of a human hair. That's how small the fiber is. And that's tiny. But our cloths are two, one two hundredth of a human hair. So there's a lot more fiber in this cloth for picking up and holding on. And um, microfiber is known for that. Known for grab and hold. Hence grab that's what? grab and hold of any kind of lint, any kind of um, surface material when mm. you when you wipe with this on this table. And you'll be able to see there's no more fingerprints. It's mm -hmm. just shine. So I'm going to show you a really cool trick with this, too. I brought some butter from my refrigerator, and it kind of got melted in the car, so it's good and greasy. <laughs> and I brought a little mirror to show you how this works. I'm just going to leave this hanging here because I'm going to need it. So I'm just going to take this butter and smear it. I'm just going to put it on my finger. Just smear it on the mirror. Now, normally, we don't take grease and smear it on something. But we do, um, excuse me, we do have grease in our kitchen, mostly, um, in the garage or wherever we would normally have grease. Um, but, so I'm just going to smear this here. I could just smear it on the window, but I'll just do it on the mirror for here so we can pass it around. I'm just going to wipe my fingers on the cloth. Okay, and normally when I use my Norwex cloth, I fold it over 
at least three or four times. So I'm going to fold it in half and then fold it over like this so I can just wipe this. Now, normally when you clean grease off something, do you use water? Cold water. Doesn't work. Okay. I'm fixing to prove you wrong. <laughs> I need to give you a ticket. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to take my cold water cloth and I'm going to wipe this off. And then I'm going to take my window cloth or my polishing cloth and show you. I didn't get in the corners very well. But this is one of the things I love about these cloths. You're not going to find lint. If I go around this, and that's why I like to use this mirror too, because when you have windows that have frames, there's always lint in the corners. That drove me crazy. And if you use any kind of cotton cloth or any kind of newspaper or any kind of paper towel, it always leaves lint in the corners. That drove me crazy. It felt like it wasn't clean. But as you can see, and you'll be able to tell, um, I hope I wiped it away real well, but I'm going to pass my cloth around. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put a little more butter in it. Butter in my cloth. So you can see I've got butter. I'm just going to wipe my hands on my cloth. Now I'm going to rub it together. I want you to find the butter. <laughs> I'm going to pass it around. I'm going to pass the window polishing cloth around the other direction. So that's, um, this, this one is good for polishing jewelry. It's great for doing windows, any kind of smooth surface. This is great for that. Now, um, someone asked me not long ago if you can actually just dust with this cloth. I'm gonna pass it around dry so that you can feel the difference between when it's wet and dry. Yes, you can dust with this, but this is a loop weave. So a better dusting cloth would be the dust mitt because this is, more, this is more of an open weave and you can feel the difference in this whenever I pass this around. Did you find my butter? <laughs> <laughs> it's new. Yeah. So I'll put that there so it won't stay on the table. But I've used this at every party and you can still see, I probably need to run it through the washer, but it's been a year. I've never washed this one. Wow. And I dust everywhere I go. I don't know if there's a lot of dust around here, but let's see. Well, I don't know if I can reach this high. I don't know that I can reach this high. Well, so it does. <laughs> I picked it up a little bit. But these are awesome for cleaning your ceiling fans. How many times have you cleaned your ceiling fan and, your, and dust goes everywhere? It does. It goes everywhere. Well, I love this because your hand is in it. Mm -hmm. Just rub across your ceiling fan. It gets the bottom while you're getting the top. And it's like a magnet. It has this magnet effect where it just kind of pulls it toward it. So you don't have dust flying everywhere. So you never wet that one? No. This one is just your dust mitt. I've never wet this. Um, this is not an anti-back. On all of our products, um, you will see anti-back written on it if it's an anti-back, which means there's silver embedded in the fibers. And how does that make it So work? do you beat it out outside? Yes, you just beat it out or you use the rubber brush to brush it out. And this is an awesome tool for your home, especially if you have pets of any kind. So. And we have kitty cats. So this is wonderful on any kind of cloth. Yes, thank you. I asked you questions. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> and you just brush it off or you can beat it and then it'll all come out of it. Um, yes, what I meant to tell you about the Enviro cloth, and I kind of skipped that part, didn't mean to. But um, the Enviro cloth, one of the things that makes it stand out is that it is a natural antibac. Silver will um, start breaking down a process of any bacteria that's in the cloth as soon as you use it. Once you use the cloth, then you would take it to your sink or to your um, laundry room, go to the sink under hot water, rub it together, causes the fibers to open up and release what's in them, squeeze it out really good, hang it up to dry, and I use this to hang mine up, it's just as easy. <laughs> I love the tags because I just hang them on the knobs. And um, then it dries within 24 hours. There's, you can't find bacteria in this cloth. It's amazing how um, it just breaks it down. It keeps it from growing. So immediately you can um, begin to no, well, first of all, because you've cleaned with it, it's picked everything up off the surface. You're not like putting a product on the surface and then rubbing it into it. That's how we've cleaned in the past. Hence, that's why you get such a buildup on things. And um, also, if you think about the window cleaners that we use, and then you still get streaks, 
and then seems like things stick to your window worse, it's because you put a product on your window. So now guess what? Because there's something there for something to stick to, it's going to get dirty faster. When you use these cloths, they stay clean longer because what you've done is you've pulled everything off of the surface. You haven't put anything on the surface, you've pulled everything off of the surface. So that's why you're not getting more dirt sticking to it. I mean, I used to clean my windows. I have French doors between my office and den, and I got where I just hang, hung things over it because it was ridiculous. <laughs> I couldn't keep them clean. As soon as I'd clean them, if I vacuumed or if I dusted, dust was all over the windows. And it was inside. It wasn't like an outside window. It drove me crazy, so I just hung sheer. <laughs> um, I got tired of it, but now I don't do that because they stay clean, and I don't have to worry about that anymore. This is, um, has been monumental in my home <laughs> and I'm not a great housekeeper I don't <laughs> yes so what about, about the only thing is is you get spoiled because you know you're used to like especially when you clean the windshield of your car or something with right. it, and you're used to that clear thing so you get a spot you get oh I gotta go clean it. <laughs> it's true it's true and I'm always afraid that my daughter or somebody's going to ruin it you know Jack when she comes in the house I'll hide them and for some reason, well, let me tell you a solution to that. If for some reason somebody picks this cloth up, as long as they haven't used Clorox on it, you never, ever, ever want to use any kind of bleach. And I said Clorox, but any kind of bleach on these cloths because what it does, bleach breaks down fabric. And I don't know if you've ever oh, yeah. washed whites and bleach. For, that's why they get so thin. It's because the bleach is ripping the fabric apart, and it would eat this up. And plus it would, you know... Make it look ugly. <laughs> but um, you never want to use bleach on these. It would ruin it. And also, you don't want to use fabric softener. And I'll tell you this just as an educational you throw thing. Them in the just throw them in the washer on, with hot water. Hot causes the fibers to open up and release what's in them. But do you use detergent in it? You would want to use uh, anything that didn't have um, fabric softener in it and Try to get something that doesn't have any fillers, and that's very, very hard to do um, in the market. This is one that I bought before I started using Norwex because of allergies and all the stuff um, with Cora, my granddaughter. And this is the best I could find on the market that's not got any, it's not supposed to have any fillers. This is the difference. This is Norwex, and you can see the difference between the two. So um, that's, I mean, some, and we were making a lot of our um, own fabric um, laundry detergent stuff, mm -hmm. and it still had filler in it. So it was worse than this as far as clarity. It was just, you couldn't see through, well, you really can't see through this at all either, but you can see through it. And so we were using that before I started using the Norwex. But if something happens and somebody uses Windex or any kind of cleaner with your cloth, then what you do is you get a boiling pot of water, throw a cup of vinegar in it, and toss your rags in it, your cloths in it, for about 10 minutes. And then take them out and then rinse them out real good and hang them to dry. Because that will really cause them, with the boiling water, the heat will really cause it to um, open up. And you don't want to wash them with other things. Right, you don't, especially linty items, never throw them in a, <laughs> in a washer full of towels because when you take, yes, when you take yeah, this out of the washer, guess what? Because this ha is like a magnet effect. It, it's made to grab hold of everything it touches. Well, guess what? It's going to grab hold of every piece of lint in your washer or your dryer. And I never put them in the dryer. They dry really quick. So if you wring them out real good and you hang them to dry, they dry really fast. The microfibers really do dry fast, and, and this even more so. Because you can put them in the dryer, right? You can. I wouldn't. Yeah. You don't they really need tell to. You not to put the microfiber stuff in the Yeah, dryer. they tell you not to. Um, if you did, it wouldn't hurt it. Okay. But it's going to be real staticky <laughs> when you pull it out. Because yeah. it's made that way. It's yeah. just like I said with this, it's almost like a magnet when you dust with it. Mm -hmm. Because it has that static effect to hold on to it. And that's hence the open weave too, but um, yeah, that has been yeah one of the things I haven't done. I haven't dried them because they will. They'll just start clinging to everything. Yeah. I would think. 
Exactly. And speaking yeah, of the dryer, I actually do mine. I mean, I've I've, mm -hmm. I've dried mine. You have? I, I do, do they have, have a lot of static when you pull them out? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, they did. They did fine. You didn't use fabric softener sheets, did you? No. Okay, don't ever I use fabric, use fabric softener. softener sheets. Well, I'll tell you, not don't ever use fabric softener sheets. For one thing, they ruin our environment, and they will ruin your dryer. If you have ever used fabric softener sheets, go home tonight and take your lint tray out and wash it under your sink. Most of the time, water won't go through it because it puts a film on it, and it causes your dryer not to work efficiently. And at the same time, it um, it's it's keeping your clothes from drying quicker. It fabric softener ruins your clothes. And I didn't realize this for a long time. What happens is, you know the peels that you get on your t-shirts and stuff? Mm -hmm. um, when I quit using fabric softener, I didn't get those anymore on my t-shirts. Now, I still did in my sweaters, but not in my t-shirts. And I was like, well, what happens is it's causing the fibers to kind of stick together. And um, it's, it ruins your clothes. And I didn't realize that. Because I would hang my clothes on the line to dry, and so I was using fabric softener. Well, <laughs> but this is the alternative to um, using fabric softener sheets. These are called dryer balls. They're kind of a soft rubber. I'll let me pass those around. Um, and they bounce throughout your clothes. For one thing, you're not using fabric softener sheets to saving you money. Another thing is it's causing your clothes to separate. As it bounces around through your dryer, the clothes dry a little faster. So you're saving money on your energy bill. And it's just a really good, it actually did cut down on my drying time, according to what I was drying. It cut down on my towels drastically in the drying time. So that was really good. Um, but it, it softens your clothes. It helps with the static because it's pulling them apart as it's drying. And then it, it just does all of these things so you're not drying buying fabric softener sheets, you're drying quicker, you're saving money in all these little areas that add up over a year's time. So that's a really good um, point. Let's see, where will we go from here? Um, is there anything specific that you want to see before I go on to the car stuff? Or want to know what it does? <laughs> I'll just go on then. And then you can ask me as we go. Um, this is a favorite for I like outdoors, so this is a favorite for me, but it's also a favorite for the men, is the car cleaning um, items that we have. This is a car wash mitt, and this feels like you could wash your body in it. It's, it's so soft. I'm going to pass that around. You only use water with the products that we have. You don't need to use any kind of soap. Well, soap is going to dull the paint on your vehicle to begin with, and um, but this is going to clean it better than the soap would. So I think sometimes we use soap when we really never needed to use soap to begin with. Because really soap on the car, think about it, it's paint. I don't know why we would use soap on paint, but, but we have all these years. And um, so it's um, a really awesome product to be able to pull everything off just the same way that this does. Lifting everything off the surface, that's what this does. It lifts everything off the surface of your car. Now if you have bugs stuck on, you might have to put a little muscle behind it to get the bug off, but um, I haven't tried that, so I'll have to try that and see. Well, let's go outside. Do, do you we can yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. But, um, do you use just that floppy side of that? Or you, do you use, use either side. side. Like, um, this would be like washing right. over the whole thing. Now, I would think this side is more for scrubbing, you know, the bug, the bug off. Over. Yes, yes. So you have both sides here. It's really nice. I like that. You, <laughs> you can buy it to use on your body if you like, but it's not anti-back. This is not an anti-back product. This is just your microfiber because you don't need anti-back to wash your car. <laughs> you don't need to um, pull the bacteria off of your car. So um, that's for your cleaning surfaces inside and inside your car. Now this is our car cloth. I, I told you my story and I'll tell you ladies my story. My husband usually is the one who washes the cars. I do sometimes, especially in the summer, but not usually in the spring, fall, and winter because I don't like cold weather. <laughs> so um, I decided to use this to see if it really worked. I'm a skeptic at heart, <laughs> and so I have to try everything before I know for sure it works. And if you ask me about something I haven't used, I'll tell you I don't know, but everything Norwex has claimed has been that plus. So. Um, I'll just be very honest with you about it. Now, the, the car cloth 
was awesome. I took this outside after I had washed my car. I did not have this yet, but I washed my car like I normally would. And I took this and I thought, this is so thin, it's not gonna hold anything. So I start wiping my car down with this. Windows, paint, the whole nine yards. When I finished, I had no water spots. Now let me tell you, I drive a dark gray, they call it green, but it looks gray to me. It's a dark gray um, Honda C Odyssey that is a 2003. So it's old, it has nicks, it has scratches. But when I dried it with this cloth, it shined like I had waxed it. Uh -huh. And when Tim, my husband, came home, he asked me if I had waxed the van. Whoa. And I said, no, but I used my new Normax cloth. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, no, you didn't. And I said, I did. You, I said, you know I'm not going to wax the van. And so <laughs> the next time he washed his truck, he has a 2001 Ford F-150 black, and it's got scratches and all. He dried it with this, and it looked like he had waxed his truck. It's crazy. But what has happened is it pulled all the water spots, any leftover soap off of it, and I would just, I would wipe it down till it was sopping wet, and I'd wring it out and keep wiping. And then I took it on the inside of my van and started wiping down the dash. <laughs> I rinsed it out before I did the inside. I don't know that I needed to, but I did. I rinsed it out, and then I started wiping down my dash, my leather seats. I started going to town. Once you get started, you know, it's hard to stop sometimes. But, um, but this has been amazing. Now, I have been asked if this will scratch a surface. It absolutely will not scratch a surface, but if you have a grain of sand or something on the surface and you rub this across it, yes, it would scratch your surface anything because it's, yes, anything would do that. So, um, but I have been asked about that, especially for um, show cars and that type of thing. So I called Norwex to be sure because, of course, I'm not um, a car dealer and I don't, do show cars, and so I wanted to be sure before I told anyone that, but sure enough, they said no, it absolutely will not. It's made for wiping down paint surfaces and windows and car rims and all of this stuff, so it's really good for that. Okay, I am going to show you some personal items. Now, what do you use yes. on the inside of the car to wash it? I use this, and you can it. also use your EnviroCloth, you can use your polishing cloth for the windows, for the, the seats. Windows. So inside of the windshield? Oh my gosh. Which one? Mm -hmm. I use the blue. blue. Yes, blue. Blue. just blue. like you would in your home. Shine with the paint. Shine it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And and not a streak. I mean, yeah, yeah, how, how it is the, on the yeah. inside so my, the, Yeah, my car never, even yeah. after I wash this through the windows. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> okay. Nice. And this is used for, and I'll go back to the Enviro cloth real quick, because this is such an incredible cloth, it will clean your whole house. I use this to clean my sinks, I use this to clean my toilet, I use now, this to clean... Yes. Is that with an antibiotic? It is. All of these. And they're just in different colors. I have green, blue, they call this red, and then this is yellow. They're all the same cloth, but now they say that you could actually take this cloth and go clean your toilet with it. Rinse it out and go clean your kitchen sink. Now, would I do that? I can't wrap my brain around that. <laughs> no, sorry, so, I will not be doing I that. Go the opposite way. <laughs> I will not be doing that. But what I do is I have a certain color I keep for my toilet. Mm -hmm. I have a certain color. It's wonderful that we have these different colors because then you can say, oh, that one's for my bathroom. That mm -hmm. one goes back in the bathroom. Oh, that one I use for whatever. But now, I have I use these um, on my carpet. If you get a stain on your carpet, just wet it, wring it out, just like we've done, and wipe the stain off. And it pulls it out of the carpet. Mm. Even it's, an old one? Yes. Old one. I have an old try paint stain. Try it. got paint on the carpet. Oh, paint. I'm not sure about paint, but you could try it. You never know. Um, but this is, um, I just, when I first got the cloth, I was amazed at how, um, I need to pull some more tickets. I was amazed at what all it did. It, it's a, it's, to me it was always like this miracle thing. And I, and I thought, when I first heard about this, when my friend told me about this before I had ever been to a, a demonstration, I was like, that cloth's going to cost 50 bucks. It does too much. If it does all that, it's going to be a 50 buck cloth, or at least 30. 
And then when I went to the demonstration and she really showed me about the butter and, and all, I was like, that is crazy. I would never take cold water and wipe the grease off of my stove, but it does it. It's ridiculous, <laughs> but it does it. And, um, and so I was like, okay, I'm sold. I'm sold. $15.99. Now that was last year's price. I think they're $16.49. They went up $0.50. Cent. But they have a two-year warranty on them and a 60-day money-back guarantee. So if you take this cloth home and you're like, you know, I'm never going to use that, which I've never had anybody say that. <laughs> but if you did and you said, Renee, I just really don't like the cloth. We have a 60-day money-back guarantee. No questions asked. But um, the two-year warranty, if this cloth starts unraveling for some reason and something happened to it, got a hole in it, then you'd call me and say, it's only been a year, I think I've ruined my cloth, we will fix you up. And I've already um, done Even if I put bleach on it? it. <laughs> no, you put bleach on it, I'll be able to tell. <laughs> so, she you told get... you not to. <laughs> I have cleaning clothes <laughs> that clean. I just continue to wear to clean because they're holy and white with bleach. Well, and I, I know whenever too. I clean for some reason, I get it all over me. Now my daughter can clean a bathroom in black clothing. And never get with bleach, <laughs> with with the salt scrub and the bleach, right. and not have a problem. Right. Now I'll tell you something else. Something else that's been really neat with um, with all of this, and in, in learning and t teaching other people about things I've learned. Um, something that I've learned is we have trained our brains to think that if we smell some kind of pine cleaner or we smell some kind of bleach, that it must be clean. And that is not true. Clean doesn't have a smell. But dirty does. So that's something we have to kind of retrain our brains. And I'm still kind of funny about um, bathing with just water. So I still like my, my um, bath and body <laughs> stuff. And I do use it with these cloths. Um, so that's just a personal preference because I like the smell of that. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. The ones that you use on you, mm -hmm. how's your skin? Is your skin dry, I'll, not dry? If you awesome. use that in no soap? Do you know I use this with just water to clean the makeup off my face every single night? I never use anything else. My boys are using the little ones for their face, and their acne is about none. And I mm -hmm. won't use them because she says that don't work. <laughs> and look at her. Well, let me tell you this, I can tell you when Anna has quit washing her face, I, I tell her, to, these are more, these are a body cloth, they're to be used on any part of your body, and um, they are more exfoliating, mm -hmm. so to use this on your face, you want to be very careful around your eyes, and when you're using this on your face, don't wring it out until it's like no water in it, you want to leave a little water in it when you're washing your face so it doesn't pull hard against your skin. But this takes my mascara off, I've ne and I have sensitive skin, but it takes my mascara off beautiful. And you know how when you use a cloth, a cotton cloth, and mascara gets on your cloth, and you can't get it out? It washes right out of these. It washes right out. How often do you wash those? Like, about once every two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I throw them in the washer about once every two weeks. But a lot of times what I do is I'll use one on my face for a week and then I'll put it in the shower and start using it on my body. And the first time I use it, if I use it with my soap, it's like black <laughs> because the soap's like breaking down what's in the cloth and it's wringing out black. But now these are actually the makeup removal cloths and these are more of a suede feel. Let me pass both around so that you can kind of get a feel for either. So you don't use this? You use this for makeup removal for um, on your body as well. This is more of a gentle, it, it doesn't exfoliate. It's more of a gentle suede feeling cloth. Um, so that, that's made for your face mm -hmm. and for gentle. We also have the baby cloths. All of these are anti-bag, by the way. All of these are anti-bag. And the, the baby cloths are so soft and so gentle. And you could use these on your face as well. So um, that's another option. But now I'll tell you this, I can tell when Anna hasn't been washing her face like she's supposed to. 
because she starts breaking out again. Mm. She's got her daddy's skin, it's very oily, and she's going to have the acne. She gets mad at me, but, <laughs> but I'll, I'll say, you haven't washed your face, you need to go wash your face. But um, she's, Allie's just skeptical. So that's all you need to do is just start saying, I'm going to prove it to you. But I, that's all I use to clean my face. And then I use, behind that, I um, love. But you use this one, not that one. I use this one um, at night, and in the morning I use this one. Because I don't really have any makeup on, and I don't. If I have extra heavy mascara on and I don't want to rub my eyes a lot, I will use this to clean my around my eyes because I'm having to rub more to get more off. I don't wear a lot of heavy mascara, but I do wear mascara. And it's the um, wash off waterproof kind that I use. So um, the face serum is what I put on my face every night and every morning before I um, put my makeup on. I want you to put just it takes such a tiny bit, but I'm gonna put some on the back of your what hand. Is it? It's the face serum and it smells good too. It'll go a long way. Oh, it's just like, like moisturizer. It's a um it's kind of like a lifting um oh. for mature skin. Yeah. And oh, it well, really good. it's gotten rid of my age spots. Now I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but my age spots are going away. It smells good, doesn't it? Here. <laughs> oh, let me give you my mom, when she was a teenager, somebody told her peroxide would get rid of her freckles because my mom was very Irish looking. It'll go a long way. It's and really it doesn't neat. do anything to freckles, but it got, it never, she never had acne. <laughs> <laughs> she always put peroxide. Oh, that it, it's smooth. It's so smooth and it smells nice, it, but it doesn't, the fragrance doesn't linger. No, it's not strong. So, but now I'll give you something else to put on the other hand. Now I've had this since last April and see how much is left? And I've given it out at parties. I've used it on my face every day. This is for around your eyes. It tightens the skin around your eyes. And my family is notorious for having the eyebrows that go like this as you get older. <laughs> and I have seen a big difference. Now, it's never going to get rid of my heritage. <laughs> but hopefully, I won't end up like this. <laughs> so, put this on the other one. And it does make your... Uh, it only takes a little tiny bit. Oh, there you go. You get some of this. Okay. I've got it. Let me get it down in there. There you go. Yeah, you get it on the eyes. <laughs> Here it goes. It only takes a little tiny bit of this too. And you'll feel, it does make your skin feel a tiny bit tighter. When you, um, when you use that, it just, it just, you can feel it. It just kind of tightens it. Tightens the skin a little bit, mm -hmm. but the face serum is, is so smooth. I love it. I like I like that, and I can tell a difference. Now I have heard a story. I don't know the lady, but I've heard a story of a representative that that used this face serum when it first came out on half of her face, and she went to the conference that they had for Norwex, and a lot of people thought she had had a stroke. Now I don't know her. I just know the story. But they said that it had perked her skin up so much on that side of her face, her other side looked a little drawn. That's yeah. crazy. I said I would have gone home and started just doing the other side for a while until it caught up. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know her, but I mean, I I know representatives that have um, heard the story and seen. I think there may be something on Facebook about it. I'm not sure. Okay, so that's a lot of. Um, what I wanted to tell you. I do want to tell you a little bit about a couple of our products here that um, are made with microorganisms. These are um, really, this is a microorganism cleaner, excuse me, and they're made with organic products and they're designed to break down um, those, um, the feces from like the dust mites leave behind and things like this. The things that weigh down your mattress you hear about how a mattress gains weight over years because of your body shedding and dust mites, feces and stuff. This is wonderful and it really has been a miracle at my house. Now my husband doesn't have any kind of health issues, but he snores and he didn't used to snore. But we have an old mattress and they said, you need to try this and see if it works. So I spray this on my mattress. This is a personal testimony. I sprayed this on my mattress and I didn't tell him because I'm like, okay, I'm a skeptic at heart. I need to know that this works. <laughs> so I sprayed it on my, and it only takes like 10, 
I have a king size mattress. I think I put like 10 or 12 sprays for the whole mattress. And, and just let it dry for about four hours. I washed my, my sheets and hung them on the line and then brought them back in and put it on the bed. Well, um, just like I always do, that night he didn't snore. And now I had sprayed the pillows, like one spray on each side also, and let that dry. He didn't snore, and I'm like, oh, let's just quit this bus. Ain't nothing to this. I also noticed when I woke up in the morning, I didn't have all this crud that I'd been waking up with. I'm like, okay, well, it is allergy season. I don't know why I'm not doing that, but okay, that's just one night. You know, that's just one night. That's just nothing to it. Well, two weeks later, he's still not snoring. And I'm getting more sleep. I'm sleeping better. I'm breathing better. I'm not waking up with the crud. And I thought, this stuff really works. This is really cool. And I had heard that it did. So now, personal testimony. Now, if you're, you have medical issues, sleep apnea or something like that, it's not going to do that. But it's really good for people that have allergies. It's very good for that. So this has been a really good thing in my home where you can just spray the mattress about once every three, four months. According, now, if you have heavy allergies, you might want to spray it more often. If you don't have as much, then spray it less. But you, should, you usually can tell because your husband starts snoring again. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but this has been a really neat product. And I took it to my mom's house, I sprayed all her stuff, I sprayed Lydia's, I sprayed ours, and, and I blown it out to Benita. <laughs> so there's been a lot of people that have used out this bottle and it's time to replace it. So um, that's just another product. Um, this is um, one thing here that I'll show you real quick, and then I'm going to just let you come up and shop the um, counter. Oh, I will show you the mom. But this is the oven and grill cleaner. Um, if you turn your oven, how many of you have cleaned your oven and had to leave the house because the smell is so strong? I have done that before. Now most of us have self-cleaning ovens or something like that. It's still really strong, but you never can get the glass clean. It doesn't clean the glass and around the glass in your oven door. This wheel, and it breaks it down naturally. Now, I normally wouldn't unscrew a bottle like this and pass it around and let you sniff it, but I'm going to because this does not have that heavy scent to where it's not a chemical base where it's going to stifle you and most of the time it says to wear a mask, wear gloves, all this stuff when you clean your oven. Now it has a light scent but you would never do that with an oven cleaner that you could buy anywhere else. So, and that it's all um, organic and it's going to break down naturally whatever's built up in your oven. And it works great. You just warm up your oven or grill um, to about 100 degrees, uh, 150, turn it off, spray this on, close it up, 10 minutes later, go back and wipe it off. And it works great. This is really, really good. So, now, real quick, the mop. This is a favorite product. <laughs> I love the mop for a lot of different reasons. It makes things a lot easier for cleaning, especially, um, I love the handle. It's a very heavy duty handle. It adjusts to different heights. So if you're cleaning up high, like if you're wanting to clean windows up high or ceiling fans that you can't get up to, it has a locking mechanism here to where it'll swivel just two way, one way instead of two. So it'll just swivel this way, up and down. Um, otherwise, it has a 360 degree a radius. So you don't have to go around like this with your mop trying to get the things. So you just stand still and just move your mop. <laughs> um, of course this is carpet so I can't really push it around in here. But this um, mop pad that I have on here is called the Superior Dust Mop. It's a lot like your dust mitt. It has that magnetic effect. It's a microfiber um, with the open weave. So it has that magnetic effect when you're um, pushing this on your hardwood floors or your linoleum or your tile. It kind of has that magnetic effect and pulling it to you. Now um, we have different mop pads. Usually when you mop or when you sweep, your um, mop handle should be chin to nose level. It saves your back and that's why. So that's another great thing about an adjustable uh, handle. And this will pop off. It has a uh, Velcro mm -hmm. type of thing. You just toss your pad on the floor. I'm going to show you the other ones. This is the um, mop pad, and it is an anti-back. 
there again. So you're picking up, you're um, gathering everything up off the surface so that therefore you don't have any bacteria left behind. So you use that one wet? You use this one wet. That one's dry water. and this one's wet. Just water. And to wash this, you would go to your sink and you would take it off of here and rub it together under hot water and just wring it out. And it's amazing. I've been in many, many, many hostesses' homes and they've mopped for a cane. And I'm like, you're not supposed to clean. <laughs> Don't clean. <laughs> so anyway, I go in there and I mop behind them and it picks stuff up. Because yeah, for one thing, it. sometimes your mop doesn't do much but push your dirt around. This is made to lift it up off the surface and hold on to it. Can this be used on my person? <laughs> yes, it can. <laughs> That's right. But this, I love the mop. It has made mopping so easy. Now, somebody said, well, mine has like a little scratch thing on the back where if I have something stuck on the floor, I don't have to bend down and <laughs> do it. I said, well, what I do is I have this on the spot and I have my foot and I've I just rub it with it on the floor just against it, just put my foot on it like that and it takes it right up. <laughs> So I've never really had to get down and scratch anything up. I guess if you had something really, really stuck and some gum got on your floor or something, you couldn't get it off with this probably, but other than that, it, um, it comes right up. And we have other um, mop pads too. We have the tile mop. This one has um, a zigzag weave, has a little more of a scratchy, um, the zigzag here in the sink, you see the blue? That's more of a scratchy type thing. It gets down into the grooves better of a mm. tile floor. Um, this one is not anti-back, but it is microfiber. So it's still picking everything up off the surface. But um, this one is also a looped weave, same as this. These are open weave. And I told you how to clean the wet mop, but let me tell you how to clean the dry mop. We have the rubber brush. I'm going back to this one. You can use this in your car on furniture, on um, these type of chairs that have the, um, the fabric chairs. It's so funny, when I first got a rubber brush, um, I cleaned my seats in my other van that had the cloth seats, and it pulled hair out of the seats. I knew I was shedding, but I didn't know I was shedding that bad. <laughs> but it does, it just like lifts it out of the fabric. So these are great not just for cleaning, this type of thing. But what you do is after you um, do your floor, then you just take it to the trash can and brush it off. Or take it outside and beat it or however you want to do it. But this just takes it. It just takes it all right off. So these are great. How do you clean those? It, it, it doesn't cleans. really get a lot in it. But you would just pull just it out like a hairbrush. Yeah. But I've not had one. I've, I've been using this one for a long I don't have a lot of stuff stuck in it. So... Um, and we have pets. I have a long-haired cat. So <laughs> you would think her fur would be in it, but it's, it's really not. So, but um, anyway, and then we have attachments for the mop where you can put this on the mop, um, attach it to the base, and then you wrap your cloth around it and stick it in the little holes here, the little grabbers. So that way you'd um, be able to clean something up high or whatever. Or you can always use your mop pad. Pardon? Mm -hmm. So like high windows? Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. I've had a lot of people buy these just for that reason because in your homes when you have those windows that are up really high. Yeah. So anyway, so um, lots of high windows. that's, I have a lot more stuff up here. It would take us all night for me to go through it. But I'll let you come up here and just ask me questions and then I'll just what about in the kitchen, like the kitchen or oh, the bathroom. Mm -hmm. you, you just use the Enviro cloth. I just use the Enviro cloth, like and I also use. And stuff I also use the bath mat. This has a scrubbing um, side, mm -hmm. and then it has the open weave side. This is what I clean my shower with, and this has been really good because I do not like to clean the shower. My husband, Tim always cleans the shower because we have hard water and it was a booger to clean. But we used the um, descaler when we first started using the Norwex and this broke down the scaling that was in there and then I used this to clean that off the surface 
And I haven't used this but one other time, and it's been a year. I probably used it like six months ago. It's probably time to use it again. I don't see the need as much. And we have calcium. We have hard water. We have well water. So, but look, pass that around. So you can use this on the... Use that on... And we have a um, aqua glass shower. Yeah, we probably... Mm -hmm. and, and I know people who have tile, and they say it works awesome on tile. So, but it won't scratch the surface because yeah, with the aqua glass, you're not supposed to use anything yeah. scratching. That does not scratch your surface, but it, it gets down in, in the grit, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So it um, really kind of pulls it up off there. Now, so Vicki, nice do you have the bathroom scrubbing? Scrub yeah. Okay. Yeah, get you another ticket. <laughs> Paula's being really quiet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So you don't you win if you don't ask questions. But now I use this on my sinks because sometimes it gets just cruddy around the sink, yeah. and if it, if I can't, if I've gone too long without really scrubbing around it with this, but this usually gets all that I need. I'll just take my finger around the edge, and it just lifts it up. Mm -hmm. But my, I mean, we're in a house now for over 11 years, and usually by then your faucets start to get kind of yucky, but they're not.